how to set up your testosterone replacement therapy shot. I've been on TRT for over three years now, but I can remember back to my first injection and I was clueless of how to get this set up. Now that I've done over 300 of these injections myself, I'm gonna show you exactly how I find my dosage, how I prevent bubbles in my syringe, and also some tips and tricks I've picked up along the way to make this a pain-free experience. Now keep in mind guys, I am not a doctor, I'm just a dude sharing my experience on testosterone replacement therapy. So I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer and we're gonna go ahead and get into this. So step number one is to make sure all your supplies are laid out on a sterile environment. As you can see here, we have our alcohol prep pads, we have our one cc syringe, we have a 20 gauge needle to draw the testosterone with, we have a 25 gauge one inch needle to inject the testosterone with, and of course we have our vial of doctor prescribed testosterone cypionate. Now it's important to know the milligram per milliliter on your testosterone. Most testosterone vials are a 200 milligram per milliliter. And what that means is if you were to pull back a full milliliter or cc of testosterone, you're gonna have 200 milligrams inside that cc or milliliter. For example purposes, today we're gonna be preparing a 100 milligram shot. The first thing we need to do is sterilize the vial with a prep pad. Next, we're gonna get our one cc or one milliliter syringe ready. It's also important to note that one cc is equal to one milliliter. They are the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and rip this, open it up. Here it is. Now, as you can see here, there's different measurements, all the way from 0.1 up to one full cc. So for today's example, we're gonna be pulling back the syringe to 0.5, which is 100 milligrams of testosterone. Now, once we have it pulled back to 0.5, we're gonna take out our drawing needle, which is a 20 gauge, one inch needle. Now I wanted to note one very important thing here. There's a lot of crappy testosterone replacement clinics out there that are only going to give you one needle. This is a huge problem because if you were to draw the testosterone and inject the testosterone with the same needle, you're actually doling the tip of the needle when you're putting it in the vial to draw out. And when you go to inject, it's gonna be a lot more painful. Luckily the clinic I work with is absolutely amazing at paying attention to detail and make sure that all my supplies are sent directly to me. That being said, I get two needles. The 20 gauge one inch needle is just to draw out the testosterone. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Almost all clinics are gonna give you a screw on needle. So all you have to do is put it in and screw it to the right. Now remember, we've already pulled back the syringe to the 0.5 mark. That means the syringe is filled with air right now. A vial testosterone is inside of a vacuum seal, which means if you're gonna draw testosterone out of here, you need to put in an equal amount of air to equalize the pressure inside of the bottle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Remove the cap from our needle. When putting the air into the vial, you're gonna to wanna to go from the top. Don't flip the vial upside down yet. You go ahead, put in the needle, and we're gonna go ahead and plunge the air into the vial. Now, the vial has a completely equalized pressure and it's ready to have testosterone drawn out. At this point, we're gonna flip the vial and the needle upside down. Now it's important to note when you put the needle in the vial, you wanna make sure it's inside the liquid and doesn't press through to the air side. So we're gonna go ahead and scoot back the needle a little bit to make sure it's inside the liquid. Now at this point, we're ready to draw back our testosterone and we're actually gonna draw past the 0.5 mark because we're gonna have a little bit of suction at the top that we wanna move out, right around the 0.7 mark. Now after that, you're gonna to wanna to scoot the syringe up to the desired dosage. Our dosage today is 0.5. At this point, we do not have any air in our syringe and we're ready to draw the needle out of the bottle. Now that the proper dosage is inside the syringe, we're gonna pull back to empty the tip of the needle. Now we're gonna replace the drawing needle with the injection needle. Now one very important thing here that a lot of guys have learned the hard way is being very careful putting on this cap. You don't wanna do this because if you miss the cap, you're going right into your fingernail and that ain't gonna be fun. So what I like to do is turn the syringe and the needle upside down, find the top, and I actually drop the cap on top of the needle. At this point, you can snap the cap back on and we can remove the drawing needle now and set it to the side. Now at this point, the testosterone is locked inside of the syringe and now it's time to switch the needle to the injection needle. In my case, this is a 25 gauge one inch needle. I inject intermuscularly into my glutes and this works perfect for me. Screw on the new needle. Now here's the trick to preventing bubbles with your injection. As you can see right now, there's a little bit of air trapped in our syringe. So we're gonna wanna move the liquid up to the needle. You'll be able to see the liquid go up into the needle and squirt out a little bit into the top, just a drop. Now at this point, you wanna look at the top of the needle to make sure there's no bubbles. If there are bubbles here, it's easy to fix. Draw back on the liquid, give the top a couple of flicks, and this usually pops the bubbles. Then you can press the liquid back into the needle, squirt a little bit on the top, and you are ready to go. Now that our injection is ready to go, I wanted to share with you one tip that helps make your injection process pain-free. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the cap 
from the needle. And what you're gonna wanna do is squirt a little bit of the oil out of the tip of the needle and let it run down the shaft of the needle. And I'll do that and I'll spin the needle a little bit while the drop is going down the shaft. The reason to do this is to make sure the shaft is lubricated. Because if you go to inject and you have a completely dry needle, it's gonna hurt a lot more than having a lubricated needle. And this is one of the biggest tips that I do to make my injections pain free. Now at this point, you definitely wanna hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be coming out with a detailed video on my entire injection process. Because there are two other huge tips that I do to make my injections pain free. In that video, I'm gonna show you exactly where I inject and the entire process to eliminate any confusion whatsoever. Now, if you're looking for a TRT clinic to work with, or you're already with one and you're not happy with how it's going, I'm going to drop the link down to the TRT clinic that I use. They service all 50 states via telemedicine and they ship the medication directly to my door. I pay under $200 a month for everything. This also includes my doctor visits and my continuing blood work every three months for free. So like I said, I'm going to drop the link down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button because my entire channel is dedicated to helping men on testosterone replacement therapy. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.